So there's a cool trick with Google Groups where if you place a bunch of people into a Google Group, you can then simply invite the email address for the Google Group into any Google Doc you'd like, and all of those people in the group are automatically uh, added. Uh, same thing with Google Calendar. So this is what I do with MasterHeart. Uh, well, now I'm starting to do it this year. So I'll show you my screen real quick. Um, and thanks, Jason, for asking about it. So for example, to MasterHeart 2022, uh, I basically added all the members uh, into this group. Now, the, the, the tricky part, which is what I needed the um, uh, MasterHeart application in part four, is that I, need, I needed everyone's uh, email address that's associated with their Google account, with their Google Calendar account, Google Drive account. And having that means um, I'm now able to add them to, uh, to the Google group. And once I have them added to the Google group, I then go and um, get the email address for the Google group, which is in the settings, the group settings. So this is the email address for the Google group, mh22-google-access at googlegroups.com. Don't worry, I've turned off the ability for anybody to send email to the group. It's only the, the owner, me, that can do that. So, and that's that's in the settings. You know, you should be sure to carefully go through all the settings to make sure, you know, you, you, before you start inviting people into it. And um, so then I, I simply go to my calendar or, or Google document. I'm just gonna do a, a random Google document, um, random doc. Okay, and then I click share. And I simply add, um, add that email address. Uh, it recognizes it, I think, because I've, I've already done it before. Whoops, I've already done it. It's interesting, when I hover over it, it gave me a bunch of the uh, <laughs> people who are um, also in, in the group, uh, who are in the group. So anyway, I do that. After I put it in, I just click on the white area to confirm, or maybe I press enter to confirm. And uh, I could notify people, which means it'll send an email to the group. But it's a funny thing is that I tried this um, and Google Docs, because, of, because I set the privacy very, 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 uh, it's very restricted. You know, only I can post into this Google. The Google group is not for discussion. You know, I, I prefer to do a discussion in the Facebook group. So the Google group is only for giving access to Google Docs, Google Drive, Google Calendar, that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, when, so I set the privacy really, really strict, like nobody can send to this group basically. Who can post? Only the group owner, okay? So if I do notify people, it actually comes back. Google will tell me, hey, your email was, your invitation was blocked. Um, but it doesn't matter, even though I don't notify them, you know, if I don't, if I don't notify them, I can still share it with, with, with them. Uh, and actually, a bunch of you here live are are uh, are in MasterHeart, so I could literally chat this. I could chat this link to you, and you will be able to access this random document. But only you all can access it. Um, it's shared with one group, so it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, and you could share that. You could do this with Google Drive, Google Calendar, etc. And so instead of using the share button to notify you all that I have this document, I will simply just give you access to it. And then I will communicate with you in the normal way that I communicate with, with you as a group. So pretty cool, right? Um, Jason, any questions you have about this? Pretty clear? Yeah, pretty clear. Quick, quick follow-up question. Yeah. So um, in order to add people to the group, you have to do this like manually on your end or how does that work with yeah, like, adding yeah. people and removing people? Yeah, adding people, I'm not going to click members because it'll show everyone's email address. But once I click members, I, there's an add members. Um, and I basically uh, copy and paste. I, I copy from a spreadsheet just a long list of email addresses. They, they know how to parse by line break or comma or, or even space, uh, meaning the invitation tool can, can, can know when it's a separate email address. So I don't have to make it too, too fancy. So we just have a long list of email addresses that are associated with Google account, which is why I'm like, I'm like yelling at everybody. Everyone just start using Gmail. Come on. Why do you have all fancy email addresses and stuff? Everyone just use Gmail and the whole world will be much easier. Of course, the whole world will be under uh, big brother Google uh, control, but, <laughs> but it's so much more convenient that way. <laughs> Who cares about privacy when we have convenience, right? <laughs> so it's not so it says and, 1984. Wait. So speaking of privacy, do people have to like um, opt in or? Uh... Oh, oh, that's a good question. So, so 
you know, I invited 66 uh, people. I think I had to invite two separate, two, like two people like wanted two different email addresses. I'm like, oh God, okay. Special, special caretaking for seven people who have, well, I have two Google accounts. So it's good. All right, fine, fine. That's fine. But the nice thing is if, if I do this whole Google group thing, if you have multiple Google accounts, I just have to add you in one place. Because if I give you access to Google calendars, I have several, several Google calendars to give you, and I have several Google Docs to give you access to, I just have to give access to the group address. And then when I need to manage, oh, you know, special email address <laughs> access, I just have to come into the group and add that person here. Now, I did have one person who, um, uh, you know, it, it said, oh, uh, one more quick, couple of tips. One is that you can only add 10 people at a time. You can only directly, it's called direct ad or inv invite. Do the direct ad. Because if you invite, they have to like find the fish out the email and click yes. I Do the direct ad. And direct ad, you can only do that for 10 people at a time. So I just have to, you know, group them into 10 email addresses at a time and do the direct ad. And uh, one person uh, you know, it bounced back saying this person has disabled the ability to invite them to directly add them to Google group. So I had to email that person that says, Hey, uh, you know, would you please uh, go to the, your set, your Google group setting and allow people, pe mean people to add you again, I'll add you. And then you can turn it back, you know, off, whatever. So, yep. Anything else? One more, one more is yeah. just if, if someone is removed from the group, um, yes. are you aware if they lose access? access? Oh, okay, interesting. Well, okay. Uh, I, I Unless so. <laughs> it's right, yeah. I believe so, but I haven't. This is the first year I've tried it. So, uh, you know, uh, ask me next year. <laughs> yeah, cool. So, thanks.